Hi guys, just going to do a quick um, look at sibs for guys who are thinking of buying one and what I look out for in my first sib and some of the features that I found beneficial and helpful. So I'll walk you through this boat, which is a Sea Pro 3.4 meter air deck. I find it's ideal for what I want. Um, I use mine for fishing. It's nice and light. It's manoeuvrable and it's great value for money. So I'll uncover the boat and we'll have a look. Right, so as you can see, this is my rig here. I've owned this boat for maybe three or four years. Um, it's been very reliable. I recently um, was considering upgrading to a slightly larger boat, but I've changed my mind as this is so manageable and easy to use, hassle free, so I stuck with it. So if we start at, the, at the, the stern of the boat, you can see I've got launching wheels on, which are an essential, really, I think, for any SIB owner. This just makes life so much easier moving the boat. Um, I keep mine on a trailer, and when I launch, I generally take it off the trailer and roll it down to the water and launch like that. On this boat, I have a 15 horsepower Suzuki four-stroke fitted which is the max rated horsepower for this boat. I had a 9.9 .9 on it before, but this is a, a much a much better package for this boat, I think. It gives you much more um, low down grunt when you want to get on the plane and with two people on board, it's um, spot on and also it's much quieter and you haven't got all that smoke from two stroke and you don't have to pre-mix the fuel so although they're slightly heavier the four strokes this one being one of the lightest in its class i find it's uh perfect for the boat so i've got rocket launchers fitted here at the back for holding my rods you can see it comes with oars the engine fails at least you have some way of maneuvering. I'll just lift the camera now I'll show you around. So there you can see the outboard engine secured on the stern. The rocket launchers either side. Down here I have my battery box and cables for my fish finder sounder. I also have this which I think is a good investment. It's an extension, tiller extension for the outboard so I can position myself anywhere on the boat to get the best trim. Well worth the money. So as you can see this is an air deck. With the valve in the corner there. It's been very reliable and um, quite robust. This boat came with a seat bag, which I keep various odds and sods in. It's very handy actually. And it has a padded seat. If I take the kids out for a spin, they can sit up on that. This is the mount for my fish finder here. And on the other side, I have a rail blazer star port, which I put a rod holder in for when I'm trolling. Um, bow bag, keep anchor, spare prop, whatever in there. The boat has 
grab lines all the way around as you can see so just a quick overall look at the boat you can see her on the trailer here this is a extreme trailer and it's ideal it's a bunk trailer the boat sits on it very nicely I fitted a spare wheel um, as I travel quite a bit with the boat it's an essential thing to have really for trailering so as you can see down the stern there these are the launching wheels which are just bolted onto the transom it's very easily done drain plug in the back there I've bolted my engine through the transom just for additional security when on the water and when trailer in the boat so yeah over and all I've been very happy with it 3.4 meters I find is plenty for me I generally fish on my own and there's plenty of space for all my fishing gear and myself so yeah if you're thinking of getting started in sib fishing try and go as light as you can you see a lot of guys buying the bigger four meter um, four meter boats which have an aluminium deck and are very heavy and it really puts people off when they're trying to maneuver it on their own so keep it light for your first boat and you'll get much more use out of it this is a PVC boat it's been very reliable um, and again as I said it wasn't very expensive to buy I think I paid six or seven hundred quid for it new um, so yeah that's it guys that's my rig for fishing alright thanks a lot Cheers.